Hey everyone, this is Drew at Headset Advisor, and today we're going to do an in-depth review of the Jabra Stealth UC that you see right here. As you can see, this is a sleek, lightweight, low-profile Bluetooth headset built for professionals who want to sound crystal clear on their computer calls and meetings, as well as their cell phone. Now, the advantage of the UC model and other UC models out there is they include this USB adapter. Keep in mind, this isn't just a Bluetooth adapter. This is a Bluetooth USB adapter with software built into them. So whether you get the Jobber Stealth UC, a Plantronics comparable, an EPOS comparable, um, and the list goes on, you want to stick with the model that, uh, that has UC after the name. For example, you can get the Jobber Stealth, or you can get the Jobber Stealth UC, which does include that USB adapter, which is going to give you a much better and more seamless experience when you're switching from cell phone and computer. If you don't get the UC model and you do have a need to connect to your computer and you try to connect the headset via Bluetooth to the computer, customers state a lot of problems like calls cutting in and out, calls dropping, no ability to answer and end calls away from the desk from your computer soft phone, uh, no ability to mute and unmute calls, um, trying to seamlessly switch from cell phone to computer is a nightmare. For example, you have to like unpair the headset from the computer and then repair it to your cell phone and constantly do this battle of the two. So avoid all of that and get the UC variant if you need to connect to your cell phone and computer. If you only need to connect to uh, your computer, I mean, excuse me, if you only need to connect to your cell phone, you don't need to get the UC variant unless you foresee down the road that you will need computer connectivity. All right, so the Jobber Stealth here is super lightweight, straight to the point, simple, easy to use. The last thing any headset user wants to do is fiddle around with the headset and have all these special buttons. It's straight to the point. There's a mute button right there. There is your answer end button right here. You just tap the button here that answers and ends your calls. Um, other than that, you have uh, your on off button as well as, let me just show you, there's a micro USB port. So you can uh, charge the headset with any micro USB cord. I like that they added that on there as well. Some manufacturers don't have um, a standard charge port, they'll have a proprietary port. So that way, if you lose the cable, you have to go back and order from them. That's good for uh, the brands, but bad for the user experience. So if you lose the charge cable, no worries. You can use any standard micro USB cable that many of us use for a number of devices uh, today. The ear, there's a number of different ear tips and ear hooks that come included, which is very nice and convenient. All of us have different shapes and sizes of ears as you can imagine. Uh, so being able to choose an ear tip or ear hook that best fits your ear for the most comfort is going to be highly important. Out of the box, I didn't even use a different ear tip. It was perfect right out of the box. And you'll see in a minute, I'm going to do a mic test as well as a mic noise cancellation test. So stay tuned. Um, and by the end of this video, if it was helpful, please hit the like, subscribe for more videos like this, and leave us a comment with what you thought of the headset and how it sounded. I'd love to hear your thoughts, if you liked it, if it's so-so, uh, or if you didn't like it so much. Also, we're gonna be doing more comparisons of other models that would be comparable to the Jobber Stealth, like the Sennheiser Presence UC that you see right here, and then the Voyager 5200 UC. So stay tuned, we're gonna compare all the headsets, that way you can uh, see which ones sound best and uh, provide the best value for what, for, what you for what you believe that provides the best uh, value. All right, so let me go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to get off the Discover D722U headset, and I'm going to switch over to the Stealth because I know you're all dying to hear what it sounds like. All right, we are back just like that on the Jabra Stealth. You see the microphone you're hearing is on the headset. Let me just adjust it so you know. As you can hear me, I'm getting quieter, 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 louder, 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 louder. And microphone positioning, as you can tell right there, is highly important. So adjust the microphone where it's best for your voice. Uh, some of us talk loud, some of us talk quiet, but about right there is where you want the microphone to be for the best possible sound quality. Also, if you have the headset uh, connected to your computer with that USB adapter, you can adjust your microphone within the computer. So I don't know how it sounds right now, we'll find out at the end of this video, but if it's quiet or too loud, you can always adjust the mic gain. The headset right now is at about 30, I adjusted it to around 30 to 40% mic volume, but you can be the judge for yourself if it needs to be louder or if it needs to be more quiet. Keep in mind, you can adjust that if you're connecting to your computer. 
on your cell phone, you will not have that ability. Um, so the audio you're hearing, as I mentioned, is on the stealth. You're going to get about 50 to 100 feet of wireless range, uh, which is a benefit of using that USB adapter as well. You're going to get longer range versus if you didn't use the USB adapter, you would get probably 15 to 30 feet of range. And the last thing you want on your important calls or meetings is calls cutting in and out. So if you're like me and you need to step to the kitchen and grab a cup of coffee or you like to walk and talk, having longer range gives you more wireless freedom. So that is always a great thing to have more range. All right, so I'm gonna do a microphone noise cancellation test. So I'm gonna play it, uh, I'm gonna play some dogs barking or equivalent to dogs barking in the background. Um, so you can hear how much noise the headset may cancel out or may not. Keep in mind, there's no headset we're aware of that cancels out 100% of the noise. If you need to cancel out more noise, you're gonna want AI noise canceling software to go with the headset. There's gonna be a link in the description of this video as well as there's gonna be a link in the des description of this video for this headset. So if you do wanna order it, go ahead and check out that link and it'll be right there. All right, let me go ahead and play some music or uh, uh, dogs barking. Here we go, all right. Dogs are barking. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but you can probably hear it. So I'm gonna let that play for just a minute as I'm talking. Um, and then we're also going to compare it to the uh, microphone on my webcam, and that way you can see the difference between a headset uh, or something with a noise cancellation microphone and um, so, uh, an audio device that does not have a noise cancellation microphone like my webcam. So I'm going to stop talking for a moment to emulate if you were just um, pause for a moment, not speaking with a customer or potential customer. So right now, if you weren't talking and dogs are barking, it's gonna be uh, something like this. All right, while that's going on, I'm gonna switch to the microphone on my webcam and let's uh, hear how it sounds. All right, we're on the HD100 webcam. There'll be a link in the description of this video to the webcam as well. You do wanna get one of those, uh, but you're probably hearing all of the dogs barking so that's what you were hearing when i had the headset on so let me switch again and you can get an idea of how much noise it blocks out all right we're back on the jobra self uc microphone and that can give you a good idea of how much noise it's going to block out all right let me pause that yeah so if you work from home or in a loud busy office that will give you an idea of the noise cancellation as i mentioned if that still doesn't cancel out enough, and for some people it doesn't, some customers of ours are in extremely loud call centers where no headset is unfortunately gonna uh, block out the noise 100%, so they order a number of different headsets, go to test the mic noise cancellation, and they're disappointed. But the good news is there's AI noise canceling software now, which is extremely helpful to reduce the noise. No matter what any headset manufacturer, any manufacturer says about their headset, some claim that it cancels out all the background noise. From our testing and experience of doing this uh, for the, almost three decades now, uh, there's no headset yet um, that 100% cancels out the background noise. But that being said, having a noise canceling microphone is gonna help reduce those noises. So say if you're on a call and you have um, dogs barking in the background or coworkers uh, talking around you, at least it's gonna help reduce that noise and put your voice in the forefront. So when you start talking, you're gonna be um, the main voice heard. And usually what happens is the background noise gets a little bit muffled and a lot less distracting versus if you were say using your um, webcam microphone or computer microphone, everything is gonna be heard in the background. There's gonna be an echo. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a giant nightmare that you want to avoid if calls are important to you whether you're maybe in sales or customer service being heard crystal clear without those distractions as you know is going to be a much better experience all right so uh, that's it for the job or stealth you see if I missed anything leave us a comment um, with what I missed if I did or ask a question there we'll get back to you right away and if I missed anything in this video we'll answer back um, with what you ask and as always, please hit the like and subscribe for more videos like this. It would mean the world to us. That's it for now. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you next time.